How's it going my NeoVim friends? Today I'm going to show you how to do some multi-line editing in NeoVim. A lot of this also applies to Vim, so if you're using that, you can use some of this as well. There's a lot of different ways that you can perform this, so I'll show you some things that I really enjoy. If this is your first time on the channel, welcome! And consider giving a subscribe and a like if you like content like this. And let's jump into it and I'll show you a few different ways to multi-line edit. Okay, so here we just have a normal TypeScript file. We have some React code and we have a bunch of these constants. So we can go up and down just like our normal Vim. And there's, like I mentioned, several different ways to do multi-line editing. The first one that a lot of true Vim purists are gonna use is macros. And so to do a macro, you hit Q and whatever the letter is. So for ours, we'll do another Q. And you can see on the bottom left, it's gonna start recording. So if I wanted to change all these constants to let, then I can do a CIW, change it to let, hit escape, go down, and then I wanna end the macro. So to do that, I hit Q again. And so I can go down to this next line and I can do three at Q and it'll apply those three down and it works. Now, if I wanted to do something a little differently, maybe I could highlight these lines and then I could do a substitute and say substitute const for let and hit enter and I can do the same thing there. So using regexes or something like this replace inline, this works for us. With me, I came from IntelliJ and doing a lot of the control G magic where I could just select words. And so there's a plugin called Vim Visual Multi. And that is gonna let you do some nice things where you can hit control in. And from here, you can just select all these different words, hit C, and you can see I have multiple cursors here. And so now I can do let, hit escape, and this is gonna put me back into normal mode. You can see I actually have these cursors still, so I could keep going. I could do a uh, change in a word on these, do some other modifications, hit escape, change these words, set ASDF, and keep going like that. And then hitting escape again will finally get me out of it. So really powerful stuff lets me do all kinds of manipulations. Now we've seen the happy path. Let's say I wanted to select only a few of these cons. So if I wanted to select this first one, but not the second one, then I can hit Q and that will skip it. And so I can change this, hit let, and then I'm good to go. So let's say that I selected these two, skipped it, and then went this far, but I realized I don't want that third one. Well, what I can do is I can hit Shift Q and that will back out and let me redo those selections so that I can then select it how I want to and modify just the cons that I need to. Let's say I wanted to create my own cursors for some reason, so I could go forward to you and then go in the middle of these words and then go control down to create cursors, change in a word for all of these and use memo or something like that if I wanted to. And you can see that now I can create my own cursors, I can manipulate as I want to, and this is really handy for doing fast edits and not have to worry about what regex that you're actually gonna be using. As we've been talking, you probably noticed that all the normal Vim commands work, and so I can do insert append for modifying and editing, and so if I wanted to you know, create a bunch of these and then move around by W, then I can select these words, and then if I did shift A, I would jump all the way to the end and I could delete make these a commas and then select things, go back up into normal mode. And let's say I wanted to bring these into a line. I can do this and this is really handy to modify multiple arrays of elements. So like, especially in languages where you wanna do a little bit of formatting or you wanna convert something from an array that's on one line into a multi-line array or into objects, this is really handy to use. If you like videos like this, Hit like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks.